I've always been friendly with Linda Nocklin, who is a strong feminist. She likes my work. And she said to me, why don't you paint a Turkish bath on all men? And so I said, that sounds nice. <laughs> it comes from a Venus and a Lute player. That was like the starting point. I then placed them in relationship to this. So this is um, Scott Burton, who was a sculptor and an art critic, and John Perrault, who was an art critic, and this is Carter Radcliffe, who's a poet and an art critic. And that's my husband. And then there was Paul Rosado, who was just very handsome. <laughs> I love handsome men. I love handsome girls, too. <laughs> you have to give the skin depth, which it has, you see. And the more layers you have, the more depth you get, don't you? You know, I try and make it translucent. I don't have this rug anymore. But it was a very nice rug. I thought it was Turkish, and it's quite a nice pattern. It balances the painting. Why wouldn't I put something like that in, rather than a blank background? Because you don't often see people sitting against a blank background, do you? You know, I, I loved all these people. I really was very fond of them all. And so I was delighted to paint them. Nobody made any complaint about having to take off their clothes. I was very surprised that all these critics would do that. But, you know, all of them thought, and this was fascinating to me, that they were, you know, this would immortalize them. They'd never be forgotten.